Hey, this is Greg, the MLO, and I wanted to do this special video um, with today's market right now. I want to time this video. This is August 2023. We're approaching mid-August, and right now the market has kind of been in a unique place for this past year, especially this year, where as a mortgage loan originator for the last several months we have been expecting a change in rates everyone has been talking about rates and interest rates been high and expecting them to go down and there were expectations to go down early summer and it's late summer now it's talks of next year and the housing prices did not bubble the industry did not bubble as expected a lot of different experts and it seems like no one has been able to really track or predict where everything is going and it could be to several factors that you can't predict you know with the things in the economy and and political things that are taking place that have an impact on the timing of things and kind of seems to reset some of the delays we're seeing we're expecting another interest rate increase when we were expecting them to go down they're still going up. So what it does, it, it disheartens the typical person who's looking to buy a home. And that's understandable. And with the inventory issue, a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's not enough people willing to buy or willing to sell their home because they don't know what options they want to have that could be better than what they're leaving. Yes, they will get the money because of the equity in a lot of situations, but you still have to have a home in a lot of cases. And everyone is not building a new home. They may want to upgrade or they may want to move to a different area, but they're afraid. They're afraid of one, the pricing is, is more than what they're willing to pay or what they feel the value is. And two, the interest rates are higher and a lot higher compared to what it was uh, two, three years ago. So a lot of people will pay double and they feel they have a good interest rate. They're paying 3%, upper 2%, 4 and even 5% compared to 6 and 7 So I have a special video because there's one thing, and there's another alternative, and a lot of people are not talking about it, and that is accessing the equity in your home. Now, that can come in two ways. That could be a cash out, which we're familiar with, the cash out refinance. Um, maybe a little more expensive than the rate and term, but it gives you access to that equity to be able to make any upgrades. If you're leaving because you want more upgrades or, you know, maybe it's possible for you to do it in your home because in a lot of cases, people won't find the same size or the same area. If they did sell, it would be a lot more expensive. So what people are looking to do is looking to get the equity out of their home and just do what they want in that home. But it's also another option that people really, really are missing. And that is the HELOC. And that doesn't require you to reset your loan or when you refinance and it does not cause you to lose your rate that you wanna keep and that you probably won't find again, at least for a very long time. So a lot of people are missing out on the HELOC. And a lot of people are really not familiar with it. They're saying, you know, how's that work? And that's what this video is really about. I was at an event yesterday and I talked to a lot of homeowners and everybody is under the mindset, I don't want to refi. And it has a lot to do with the rates, especially they have a good rate. And, and they don't want to start their mortgage over. But these very same people are very interested in accessing the money. And the money is there. I mean, some people have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in equity. And it may be in an investment property, it may be in a in an owner occupied property. But I really haven't seen a lot of people talking about it, especially when it when it comes to assessing the equity. And maybe it's because a lot of the lenders that people are working with do not. So they do not offer it. So what a HELOC basically is, it's called a Home equity line of credit is basically a loan against your house. It's secured against your home. And the rates, you know, they're, they're I don't know what you would call high, maybe seven, 8% or more. 
it's, of course, it's going to depend on what you qualify for. So you definitely want to reach out to someone to be, get pre-qualified. But it's typically significantly less than what you would get for a credit card. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to pay off some debt, consolidate some debt, especially with uh, credit cards um, and consolidating and decreasing your, your debt. It, it could be very beneficial for you to do that. Also, some people are using it to pay for college. So it's a lot of different options that are tied to that HELOC. Now, what I will say and what I'm offering as a mortgage loan originator is a very unique program that's available for the HELOC, a five-day HELOC um, program. And you still have to go through the qualification, but to have a HELOC that's pretty competitive with the rates, but also very fast to be able to access the money if you need it quickly and um, very effective, very beneficial. And again, it's one of those things that a lot of people do not know is available. It's typically not as quick with the traditional bank or credit union. And I just, when I, when I had the conversations, I really thought about, I really need to do better at letting people know, one, that the HELOC is an option and you don't have to refinance, but it's also a great opportunity to access your money in a, in a very quick time frame, especially when you need it for different things. And, you know, being a resource to the community to let people know their options, especially when you have a lot of options. You know, with me working with a broker and working with dozens of lenders and having those unique products, uh, sometimes people say, I didn't know those type of opportunities or programs were out there because it's not offered at their traditional bank or credit union that they're working with. So I just, I just wanted to let people know who are in the Georgia and Florida market that there are opportunities to access their equity. And it's definitely a good opportunity and possibly a good opportunity to use the home equity line of credit. So with that, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the um, comment area if you have any comments and please subscribe and hopefully i'll talk to you soon